My name is Cynthia Melendez, and I am the Curator of Collections here at the History Center. And can you tell us about the Warner Brothers exhibit uh, that will be opening in just a couple days? Yes, this exhibit, The Art of Warner Brothers, will contain, or contains, I should say, about 160 drawings and cells all across range of art created by the Warner Brothers Studios in the height of its popularity and the height of its business. The Warner Brothers cartoons were created specifically first for um, features in theaters um, around the time of the war, first uh, World War II, and so they were created for adults. And so the appeal um, was more for adult, and it was adult content, but then through the years that kind of generated too, just a cross range of um, individuals. But what you'll see here is just a little bit of everything. Pencil drawings, cells, background drawings, storyboards, and sketches. And what are a few of the most special pieces or ones that maybe you enjoy the most? For me as curator, the pencil drawings are really the most interesting. The cells, in order to create cells, there's a lot of work that needs to be done and a lot of painting. You have to create a background and the foreground. But the pencil drawings really show the skill of the artist. You can really see erase marks. Um, in particular, there's a piece of, um, there's a pencil drawing with Bugs Bunny as a mermaid, and that to me is, is not necessarily the most interesting, but one of five or six pencil drawings that are really, really neat and really show the skill of the artist. And how did you end up with this exhibit? Like, how does that work where you get with Warner Brothers or do you uh, work with another museum? Well, this exhibit is a traveling exhibit. We didn't curate this here in-house. It's been traveling the country. And when we are not hosting our own exhibits that we've created ourselves, we look for traveling exhibits to bring in. And this one was traveling the country, and so we found this. This um, was originally a lot of pieces here on display were originally on display at MoMA in New York City and so um, it was previously also in Arizona so this has been making the rounds around the country and so we were excited to get it here. It's the only stop in Central Florida and I believe it's the only stop in Florida for this exhibit. Oh, a question about the characters. Will, will the characters be making an appearance? We do have some characters making an appearance. We have Sylvester, we have Tweety, and we have Bugs wandering in and out, so they will be seen occasionally at some of the events. Do, oh, just the events, not if, if people are coming on a regular yes, basis, they might just, bump into the Yes, just the events, just gotcha. to kind of generate interest and, and get the kids.